Hey guys, I completely forgot I didn't do chapter 27. I thought I had the Hunger Games all uh, reviewed, but apparently not. I'm just kidding, I'm making up excuses. Really, I just had so much homework that I never had time to review this. So, I'm going to finish this review, and I'm going to upload another video, and I promise this time, I'm going to review it right after this, of a rant about the Hunger Games and kind of comparing my analysis with uh, other, you know, Spark Notes and all those you know, respected, uh, you know. Anyway, let's get into chapter 27. I can't remember what happens. <laughs> I do remember what happens. That's why uh, I have this little, all my stuff highlighted and I got notes. Um, so, in chapter 27, this is basically right after, you know, Katniss just realizes that, you know, the Hunger Games real is kind of a vacation because stuff is about to get a lot harder from now on and right now the the plan is to go just to get the hell out of there and go to the trains back home so even though I think it should have ended right at chapter 26 cause it seems like that's like the perfect ending doesn't this sound right and right now the most dangerous part of the Hunger Games is about to begin the end right but now we're gonna go to chapter 27 um uh you know, I was always worrying about Effie and how where she stands on the Capitol. You know, is she with the Capitol? Is she kind of like ignorant? Is she amoral as far as, you know, that goes? Or is she just kind of a... I don't know what kind of character she is. And we kind of see that, you know, she does seem to have, you know, very little, you know, suspect... She doesn't really suspect that there's any kind of trouble. Even though I don't know, you know, I'm not really sure. I wonder if Effie's actually going to be a more developed character and not just some crazy bitch with a wig. So anyway... Uh, and then we find out that Peta is kind of limping and he has the uh, um, a mechanical leg, which I thought was not a big deal. I mean, uh, I don't, I wouldn't really consider it a handicap because it looks like it's bionic, so he doesn't have to control it too much. But I don't really know too much about how it works. I know it's controlled by something, and he does have to have a cane. But uh, I mean, at least it, he didn't lose anything else. The leg isn't too bad, you know. Now he's kind of like House. Um, so this is where I, I like I like reading what Katniss says, and I just think that I love how she like she says something that it seems kind of important. And she just dismisses and talks about something else, but it is important. And Katniss is like, he's kissing me, and all the time I'm thinking, do you know? Do you know how much danger we're in? And and after about ten minutes of us kissing, uh, you know, um, you know, she I, I, it's just funny. Uh, right now they're getting an interview from the uh, Flickerman, the dude that kind of. I uh, was joking around with them when they introduced all the tributes. Um, and they're basically talking about everything. And, and her job is to actually make sure to, in, to um, ensure the people of the capital that, that what she did was not an act of rebellion, but just simply she was just crazy in love. Um, and I kind of think it's weird that they're so obsessed with these two. I mean, they're like 16, you know. I wouldn't be so obsessed like, oh my god, these 16-year-olds need to do it. You know, like, it's kind of weird to me anyway. Um... That's just me. But anyway, uh, the thing I wanted to point out that was funny about that is, uh, you know, Katniss is just, she's always kissing Peta. It's like, oh yeah, Peta says he loves me all the time. But I'm the whole time thinking about this and the whole thing, which it, I know she's thinking about things that are more important, but it just seems that she always disregards things that have to do with feelings a lot. And I don't blame her. Like, like I said in my last review, that she goes through some pretty tough shit here. I mean, right now, I'll consider her pretty fucked up in the head. Um because a lot of things happen to her, and I'm not going to give her such a hard time. You know, in the early book, I do give her a hard time because she's doing things that are really irrational. But anyway. Um, so it's funny, she uh, sits on... Oh, this wasn't actually the um, the interview yet, just yet. Uh, this is uh, when they were reviewing The Hunger Games, and that's this is what I'm disappointed in. Uh, you know, they had to watch The Hunger Games, you know, what happened, you know, and they never showed... Uh, what happened to Thresh? What happened to all these other characters? They just talk about Katniss, which I understand that, you know, in the book world, the capital would just want to focus on Katniss. But I wanted to know what happened to District 10 boy. You know, he seemed like an important character. Why would they say, you know, the crippled foot boy is over here, but we're not going to mention him at all in the whole story, and then we're going to, 
just kill them off and then never tell you how. I mean, that just seems like, I don't know. And then no one else. I mean, it just, we learned nothing. I wanted to learn how Thresh died. Just, just some kind of one sentence thing, like, and then it showed how Thresh was ambushed by Kato, or there was a trapper, and then it showed District, or something, like other alliances. I'm sure there was other ones. I want to know. I don't know if they're going to do that in the movie. Maybe. Who knows? I don't even, I don't even know how the movie can fit all this in here, honestly. I'll get into that later. But yeah, I was kind of disappointed in that. Like, I wanted to get more details on what happened in the Hunger Games. You know, not just from Katniss's perspective. I wanted to see what happened with Peeta. Was he, like, recruited right away? Was that how that worked? You know, what happened there? Did they force him? Something like that, but I don't know. Maybe they'll do it in the second book. Maybe, like, she'll have to, she'll watch a replay. And, but I doubt it. I don't know. Um. Okay, um, having a hard time flipping the page here. Sorry. So... Right now, President Snow um, is basically has snake eyes. I mean, I love how she characterizes people in this book like, oh, it's fox face or snake eyes and whatever. And obviously, President Snow is supposed to be this slithering evil, you know, I don't know, Voldemort. <laughs> I don't know, you know, whatever. So he's just basically the bad guy here. But President Snow doesn't seem like a bad guy. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction that President Snow, and holy shit, you're probably like, what? That can't be. I think President Snow may not be such a bad guy. Just saying. Just saying. I'm not going to say that President Snow is a good guy, but right now, I have some hints that I'm going to go over in my overall rant review of The Hunger Games. Uh, so I'll get into that, but my basic prediction is President Snow is a good guy. Or at least he's like a good guy in the sense that he's trying to do a good thing, but he has an evil demeanor. Because, you know, I, I'm going to say something. In every book I've read, no one is ever what they seem. The good guy is never usually the good guy. The bad guy that's, you know, it's not just that they're bad, it's just whenever they're like things about them that shout out that they're bad usually means they're not bad like oh he has snake eyes and he he's evil and he's evil yeah he's evil but then you find out later that he was actually a good guy I don't know so that's just me um we learned about with the filmmakers but I doubt they're going to be important um so everyone's talking about that uh So, it's funny that PETA does all the talking while Katniss kind of just sits there. Um, I wonder how that would work exactly, because I would imagine people would start looking at Katniss and being like, well, are you going to say anything or are you just going to sit there? Uh, and you know, it's funny, she says that she can't shake the feeling that she's being watched constantly, and I got a feeling that's going to be happening a lot, because as soon as they see the actor rebellion thing, they're going to go ahead and have her spy on her, I guarantee, as soon as she gets back to District 12, they're always going to be spying on her, so that's going to suck. <sighs> this is kind of funny that, you know, this is what I was talking about, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm reading my notes and stuff because I kind of forget what happened. Uh, PETA says something pretty funny to Katniss that made me kind of laugh out loud. She was, he, she, he was like, well, there's just this and we go home then they can't watch us all the time and then this is what Katniss reaction is I feel a sort of shiver run through me and there's no time to analyze why well I'll go ahead and analyze why for you Katniss it's because PETA wants to jump your bones and you got a little little tingling sensation by the thought of it but you just quickly push that away which not her fault she is pretty traumatized and she can't really put feelings inside of herself right now but anyway then they get into this whole interview. This is the personal interview. This was on the public one. Of, well, it was public, but it was just in private. Um, you know, and she's trying to make sure that everything's going okay. Uh, she says the right things, and she does, of course. You know, and that's pretty much it. I won't get into too much about you know what happens step by step. Uh, the conversation's pretty interesting. Um, so then I, I remember that they're actually going to have to tour. 
um, the Hunger Game uh, toward the uh, other districts, kind of like boasting that they won. So that's going to be interesting. I really think that we're going to see the other victors in the second book. I really think we're going to see Titan, uh, the girl that outsmarted everyone else, waited for everyone to die, some other ones. I really think we're going to see them soon. I think that they weren't mentioned for nothing. So it's going to be kind of cool when they go back and maybe they'll see them. And who knows? It'll be interesting. Um. <laughs> Yeah, the Hunger Games will really never go away, that's what she says, and it's it's true. Um, then I want to read something else here. Uh, apparently PETA and Katniss... Um, uh, she's kind of figuring out... I'm sorry, I'm thinking a lot. Um, she's trying to figure out why exactly she is you know, having these mixed feelings about Peta, because she has to think, you know, do I love him, do I not love him, do I, whatever about him, I do kind of like Gail, you know, um, and she wants to tell him that he's not being fair, um, and that they were strangers, uh, and that she, w she did what she did to stay alive, to keep them both alive, um, she doesn't, she can't explain how things are with Gail, because she doesn't know herself, it kind of reminds me of something, but, um, and it's just kind of interesting that I, I wonder if she actually thinks that she just used PETA. And that's sad if she did. I, even if it's it's fine, I guess. But it just seems kind of seems kind of bad. But I mean, you really can't blame her. She's just trying to survive. I mean, you got you got to understand the Hunger Games is really real for Katniss. It wasn't just like whatever. Um, and it's funny that she actually wanted to tell PETA that she really missed him, but uh, she can't. So anyway, that was. Uh, that was it. It ended really abruptly. It was just kind of like, okay, that's it. That's over. Which was kind of weird. But um, I'm going to go ahead and I, I had read the first few chapters of Catching Fire because I was kind of bored. And that's me. Um, I'm going to, you know, go over some predictions, some some other things. And uh, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I definitely look forward to looking over my overall review of The Hunger Games and my analysts. Uh, my analysts. Uh, my comparison to the other sites that analyze it and I want to rant on about people that hate on me for talking about Katniss in, in a negative way and I actually found an interesting correlation for people that hate on me for it and people that kind of understand what I'm getting at um, so anyway that is my review hopefully you guys enjoyed I need to shave because it's getting around that time and I'm gonna go ahead and go because <laughs> you guys don't need to know that I'm sorry anyway have a good one.